Hello, um, I thought it was about time I did another vlog update style video just to let you know a little bit about um, what I've been up to, what I've been doing and what music you can expect um, coming soon um, and to also reflect on uh, not all things Black Cat Tango, a few things Black Cat Tango and to maybe talk a little bit about um, motivation and inspiration um, for some of the things I've been doing. So let's get to it. First thing, I wanted to say thank you. There's been a, a couple of new subscribers recently, so I want to say thank you for subscribing to a channel that um, doesn't release music regularly and hasn't released anything in a, a good few months. So that, um, that makes me smile that you're uh, following, waiting for the next thing. And thank you to people that are subscribed and have stayed subscribed, um, following my random, weird and wonderful musical journey that, um, that also makes me happy and I appreciate all of you. And anyone that listens, even just listens to the songs, you will be pleased to know that I do have a new EP coming out soon um, with Yannick. I'm sure you know Yannick if you've listened to um, any of my songs. He's the spooky surf guitarist that plays on a lot of it. I've been working with him on some new songs. I've got three new songs coming that are um, like kind of surf, rockabilly, kind of a bit trucker music, some of them, I guess. Um, but yeah, that touches on um, motivation as well and inspiration because um, for those that don't know, I'm Steve, um, the one man band Black Cat Tango. So being a solo musician can often be tricky to find inspiration and motivation. So having someone like that, that um, to work with me on my songs is always uh, a great inspiration to me, knowing that once I've um, got the vocals, bass and drums and everything down, I can get send them to him to do his magic. So yes, there will be a new EP coming soon. Um, so what have I been up to? I those You could probably tell from my last song, um, no one said that I took up uh, learning the banjo recently. That was what was keeping me entertained in lockdown. Um, just doing something a bit different, learning a new instrument um, uh, stood out to me. And I ended up learning quite a lot of um, sea shanties and folk songs and that sort of thing whilst I was learning the banjo, as well as some um, Tom Waits as well. That was my first thing I learned was uh, Starving in the Belly of a Whale by Tom Waits on banjo. Um, but it's a tenor banjo, not a claw hammer banjo, in case anyone's interested. But yeah, a friend of mine who plays um, Irish music uh, invited me for a jam um, in the little break of lockdown that we've had uh, last year. So I um, started learning some sea shanties and playing those. I ended up um, busking and uh, got a few gigs out of it this summer, which is a bit of a tangent, but it's been really fun, fun to do. So I may upload some of those to the channel just to show you... Um, some snippets. I, I posted them on um, Instagram and TikTok, so they'll only be a minute long, but I may put some of those up on the channel as well to show you what I've been up to. So I've had a, a couple of thoughts about reflecting on Black Cat Tango that I sort of wanted to run by you, possibly get some um, input from what people are thinking. But um, I was thinking about the hip hop and rap songs I've uploaded uh, recently. So I've always known that was a bit of like a, a curveball for the, for the channel and my music and I always felt like it might have alienated the, um, some of the fans that I did have um, in the first place. Um, but it was more of a, a personal thing for me at the time to um, you know, have an outlet for some of the um, uh, mental health struggles I was going through at the time. I was always aware it was a bit of a curveball and um, may have alienated some people. But um, I always hoped that it might be, um, some people might be able to relate to it. And I perhaps could have done it on another channel or something, but I, it's not like I had loads of, um, you know, a massive following to then go create something different. So I just uploaded it all to the same place. Um, but recently I have been thinking about it. In the, um, so my most popular songs are Devil Woman and the Daddy's Lambo cover. So I imagine a lot of people come to my channel expecting more stuff like that and then might even be dissuaded hearing that, oh, this isn't what I thought it was. He's doing something completely different. But, um, so I've been tempted recently to um, like branch out from it, I guess, because I'm probably not going to record any more um, like hip hop. But so what I was going to say was um, from like a, a business marketing point of view, I hate that talk, but there we go. 
Um, it doesn't really make any sense to have the Black Cat Tango channel with all the spooky, guitar-y, jazzy, rockabilly things and then have rap on there as well. I always thought it stood out a bit like a sore thumb. So um, I've been tempted recently to maybe take some of it down. I don't know what you think. You could let me know in the comments. But um, so I could take some of that down off of um, like Spotify and Bandcamp and stuff. And then perhaps just leave it on the YouTube. Um, on the YouTube. I sound like an old man. So I could just leave it on my YouTube um, for if anyone that does like it and listen to it. I'm like, oh, where's it gone? And then you can still listen to, um, listen to it for free on, on here. Um, so they'll all still be there. But, um, yeah, I always, I think that makes a bit more sense going forward to have a more clear direction of what my, um, my sound is, what the Black Cat Tango sound is, and maybe streamline, streamline us a little bit so it makes a bit more sense. But um, I know a few of those songs have um, helped people because they are about depression and mental health. So I don't want to get rid of them completely, and I am proud of them. Um, even though it doesn't make sense. Even in the old vlogs, you could watch and tell I was uh, a bit torn about what I should do with them. But um, they did help me at the time. But perhaps now it might be time to um, make Black Cat Tango make a bit more sense and have a bit more of a... Oh, I don't want to say brand, but let's say brand. So it's all, you know, spooky, guitar -y, you know, dark cabaret, psycho Billy, all that sort of things. And it all makes a bit more sense. So... Um, let me know maybe in the comments what you think about that, whether you think it does make perfect sense. And if you came here after the first EP and then just felt alienated by the hip hop music, or maybe you're the other way around. Maybe you like the hip hop and you can't stand guitar. But um, yeah, either way, that was my thoughts on that. That was my weird cut. I don't know if it worked. Cut. So yeah, like I say, I've got the a new EP coming out that's um, sort of more psycho Billy surfy stuff with um, my friend Yannick on guitar, which is coming soon. And then after that, I'd really like to play some more banjo on some songs uh, or write some more songs using the banjo. So um, I'm thinking about doing some maybe some dark cabaret, vaudeville, gypsy punk type things with that. Um, and then again, with being the solo musician, um, some of the other songs, it's either... So it's all just me, with plenty of exceptions. So Yannick, um, who is my friend, that I just met on through SoundCloud doing music, um, and he's really hard working and always is down to play guitar and things, so he's been great. So he's essentially an honorary member of Black Cat Tango. But for um, performing live or anything, it's always been difficult, unless I just want to play um, like acoustic versions of them on my own. So writing some stuff that's designed to be performed with like just me on guitar or banjo would make a lot more sense. So yeah, in the future, or maybe after this EP, I'm gonna get writing some um, maybe dark cabaret, banjo, um, sorts of things that I think will go nicely with uh, the rest of the music and sound good, but we shall see. I reserve the right to change my mind and do something completely different, um, you know me. Thank you for watching this far. If anyone's watching this far, I uh, appreciate it. And um, I just wanted to keep you updated and um, say thank you for the people that listen to the music and thank you for the people that have subscribed and stay subscribed. Um, I almost felt a bit bad seeing new subscribers when um, there hadn't been an update or anything. So I just wanted to let you know what I was up to. And there is some new music coming soon. And then uh, what sort of things you can expect after that. Um, if there is anything you'd like to talk about or that you'd like me to talk about in any uh, future vlogs, feel free to leave a comment below. Um, I read all the comments and reply to all of them as well. So um, if you do have any thoughts or there's anything you'd like to hear me talk about or any questions or anything, I could definitely do some more of these that aren't just me um, waffling about myself and what I've been up to for 10 minutes or more. Let's see. I'll see how I'll thread it. We'll try and get it down to below 10 minutes. Um, but yes, thank you for watching. Thank you for following me, those that you have had, that have so far. And welcome to any new people that have just subscribed to Black Cat Tango. Um, yes, I'll speak to you all very soon.